So, I wanted to talk about funding um, because we've got to be ready this year, uh, at least based on what's been happening in Virginia so far. Um, why do we care? Well, the fights are the ultimate landmine. They represent the ultimate loss of control. And when the, um, had this, the NFHS manual of game, uh, fights and game awareness were points of emphasis. And the reason why, you know, they, they publish these things every two years, NFHS, and uh, the reason being was in 20, oh, no, 2009 to 2011, fights just started escalating precipitously across the country. And Al and I were at a uh, preseason clinic for the uh, old West Virginia Conference, and Jamie Lucky uh, came and spoke to us, and he said, this was right after the economic downturn hit, hit and he said, folks, we got to be ready. People are angry. They are angry. And I thought, uh, it sounds like a nice cycle of Apple, but uh, no. we actually had more flights in our board that year than any other. I mean, uh, down in Charlottesville, we, there's a video of kids throwing haymakers and, and a body slam. It was just ridiculous. Now, 
how do we go about enforcing the penalty? This is where we start to get confused. And I'm going to go through the rule, but then we'll also take a look at some examples. So the first thing I want you to remember is when it comes to determining the number of team fouls, stick it to them. Okay? Again, we'll come to some examples here in a moment. Everyone is charged with a flagrant foul. Players are disqualified, coaches are ejected. And we're going to have to classify participants into one of three groups. The players who fight, the bench personnel who fight, and the bench personnel who come onto the court but do not fight. You're in one of those three groups. Because okay? that's going to make a difference into how we enforce the penalty. So how are we going to determine the number of free throws and the number of indirect technical fouls? Okay. If you come off the bench, but you don't fight, we'll cut you a little bit of slack. It'll be a maximum of two free throws and one indirect to the head coach. Okay. You're still disqualified, still a flagrant act, but we're going to be a maximum of two free throws and one indirect to the head coach. Okay. But if you come off the bench and you fight, hey, now it's going to be two free throws for each fighter and one indirect technical foul to head coach. And for players, no indirect to the head coach, but two free throws for each player to fight. And when we calculate the number of free throws, we will not award free throws for double or simultaneous fouls. So let's take a look at some examples. We have our main event, A1 versus B1, they're players. A6 leaves the bench and participates. B6 through B8 leave the bench and participate. B9 through B11 leave the bench but do not participate. Okay, let's go through this. How many team fouls to A? Two is correct. A1 and A6. Okay, two team fouls. How many team fouls to be? Stick it to them. Seven. When it comes to team fouls, stick it to them. The answer is seven. How many indirects to the teammate coach? One is correct. Okay, remember A1's a player, so no indirect there. A6 leaves the bench and participates. That is one indirect. How many indirects to the TV coach? Four. Four. All over the place. Four. <laughs> the correct answer is four. Okay. Leave the bench and participate. It's one for each fight. So that's three. And then if you leave the bench but don't participate, that's a maximum of one. So four indirects. Okay. Is that clear? Of course, it only takes three indirects to be ejected, so this coach is really, really ejected. And so, how are we going to determine the number of free throws? Okay, this is what we do. We're going to cancel A1 with B1. We'll cancel A6 with B6. And that leaves us with a total of how many free throws? Six. Six is correct. Six for team A. Okay, two for each fighter. That's four, and then those who came off the bench but don't participate, that's a max of two free throws. So six is the total. Everybody see that? Yeah. Remember, no mercy, 
stick to for team fouls. So B1, B6, B7, and B8 are all charged with flavor fouls and disqualified for team fouls. How many indirects to the teammate coach? Three is correct. A6, A7, and A8, they all left the bench to participate. Ejection. Three indirects. How many indirects to the team he coach? Two. Two is correct. B6 is one, and then B7 and B8 only count as one indirect. Okay, because they left the bench but did not participate. So how many free throws? We'll cancel A1 with B1. A6, B6, A7, B7, A8, B8. Nobody's shooting anything. And you're saying, wait a second, you canceled fighters with non-fighters. There's your casebook reference, if you don't believe me, that you can do that. Okay. So the reason being is that they are fouls that are happening at the same time. That's why you can cancel them. We never shoot free throws for double fouls or something. Is there a clear definition of participate? Fed manual, I will tell you, it tells you point blank, don't touch the players. 
don't put your hands on them. If you know who Al Goldberger is, is the lawyer uh, counsel for Ivo, he says that's nonsense. He says, my philosophy on fighting is I don't let kids fight. And if that means that I have to act like I just got out of a local insane asylum and I got to start pushing them out of the way, he says that's not assault. And he would defend that. He says, he says, if you think that you could just step back and say, have at it, boys, no problem. If a lawsuit's filed, then that's going to get you off the hook. He says, no way. So I, I, I'm not a lawyer. I'm just telling you what he says. So um, he, 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 he. Technical fact. 
I know which one I prefer. Yeah. Uh, hard fouls are going to go to the victim to prevent retaliation because that person is going to want to pop up. Uh, recognize the rise of player emotions. Most, and I think this is what someone was getting at earlier, we're going to penalize rough play in the post because displacement is a foul. Most times, this is where the rough play starts and it goes unaddressed. It's going to uh, explode into the fight. And so let's go to the full clip. We start with. Thank you. 